So, I don't think I'm going to get any trouble for this, but I'm playing Casino RPG, and it's April 1st, and everybody's wearing the same costume. It's an April Fool's joke. Everybody's moonwalking. My normal avatar outfit is not this, and every time I walk, I'm doing the moonwalking backwards. Um, last year, I think they had everybody looking like mob mafia. All the men were wearing the mob boss stuff, and the women were wearing scantless clothing. I'm, I can't remember what it was. I don't have it. I don't think I have the video of it. Um, I'm also going through, this is just, <laughs> this is funny. This is just the main part of Casino RPG. And I'm filming it. Oh, it's blurry. There we go. What I'm doing right now is just getting visits in. If you go in and out of the casinos and you... This is just funny. Uh, I know the color's a little bad. It counts as a visit to whoever owns the casino. And all you have to basically do is go in the door, come out. But if you go... If somebody has one... I can't see where the cursor is. That is more than one floor, then you can... um go up and visit their floors and those count as different visits I think I'm not quite sure um I'm not let me go ahead and turn off global because I don't think where is the settings I don't really want to see let's see let's hide global chat and then let's shut that down that way uh Okay, I guess there's an updating issue, and they're telling us about it, but that's just my crew that I'm in right now. <laughs> but, uh, I took a picture of it, but it's different when you see the live motion moving. Alright, here's the real estate office, and I don't really want anything in there. Um, I'm not even sure that you can hear me speaking. Let me see if I can turn up the volume. I hope you can hear me speaking, otherwise you're just going to see... People walking backwards, and that's kind of humorous, but... Uh, Alright, so I've gone in this one. This one has two floors. Even the bartenders are moonwalkers. It's just it's hilarious. They're walking backwards. Alright. <clears throat> this is the game April Fool's Joke, I guess, for 2017. And... One good thing that I like about the game that they have brought is this whole full screen thing and I loved when they got the elevator working like this and everything that's pretty awesome um yep 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 all right so I need to go open my little mini map where is it at right here and I gotta find somebody's casino because I want to go drop a couple of bombs I, this is where you save all the people's names and stuff in their casinos, and you can just go. Um, you don't have to type in, because you have to put an address in and everything, and it's just a pain in the butt. So, I'm going to head up the stairs. This isn't my casino, although right now I currently own eight casinos. Um, let's go there. This is where my bomb partner is. This is her casino. So, I'm going to go... We usually throw some bombs. I know, it's weird. You're playing a casino game, yet you're throwing bombs, and it doesn't make any sense. Um, let me mark it. I have to write it. Uh, uh, let's do... We usually mark ours when we do them. So, that right there would be the B3. Oh, she gets a slot machine and some garden tools, or or some gates or something. All these little spinners we use in war and battles and stuff, we pick them up. And they can give you free stuff for the game, they can give you chips, they can give you all kinds of stuff. Usually there's a 10 minute wait between bombs, so I'm... Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, let's see, what can I tell you more about the game? Um... This is my floor. This is where she dropped bombs for me. Uh, oh, I can show you something really cool. There's a double XP game come a day coming up next. Well, now it's the end of the month, and 
that means for every game you have, you get experience points, and um, all, it's all those blue things that were on the floor. Those are experience points, too. Well, I don't need that. That's the wrong menu. Um, I need to go to my casino because I decided this month, and it looks like I have a repair there, too, that I want to do a bomb floor where I want people to come into my casino once the day is up and I want them to... Uh, he's just telling me I have trash in my casino. I'll pick it up. Um, I want them to come and drop bombs and well, I dropped a bunch and it'll just be this big bomb party. Let me look for this thing that's a uh, little bit of garbage. Oh, even... Even the janitors are wearing it. You can't distinguish people in this game right now because of it. Eh. Okay, so he found some trash and some experience points and some money. Alright, this I am unveiling. It is set as a VIP floor as of now. And if somebody... See, I got all this stuff. And I'm adding to it as I go. Because I want to have the opportunity to level up and I also want you know to be taking a part in these big bomb parties but the problem is is when you get too many people there the game tends to kick you out and reboot and it's a pain in the butt so I gotta figure out a way where I can let you know maybe a few people in at a time or something um, since it's VIP I can set who I want to come in or I can put it out in global and let everybody come in. It's up to me what I want to do. The more people you get, the more experience points you get. Alright, this is an empty floor. Yeah. So, yep, that's my game. That's what I'm working on. Um, you just play the games in here and you earn money and earn CP. And CP is something that you need in the game to bomb with. CP is a form of currency. Um, and that's about all it is. I just wanted to give you, show you guys a little bit about the game and um, tell you you should definitely go to www.casinorpg.com and play it. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to use any real money. Although if you want citizenship now at this point you can. Um, I have put a little bit of money into the game but Right now, I'm playing on just what's in the game. So, <clears throat> um, I know it's been a while since I've done a YouTube video, and I'm not done with them. I have been really busy working on my Etsy shop, and I have got like 100, over 100 items in there. And I just brought my husband on. And he's doing some paracord stuff, um, bracelets right now. And he's working on his stock. And I started bracelets a month or so back. And I've been working on those with the earrings. And it's just keeping me busy. So, if you're interested in my Etsy shop, it's Designs by Carly Megan. And just look me up. I have a ton of stuff there. And um, I'm only shipping to the United States, any place in the U.S., I am not shipping overseas, and I don't know about the international rates, so check back often to the shop, because I keep updating, and have a wonderful day. Bye.